student's asking, what if a student studying, say, biology, for instance, obtains mm -hmm. a low GPA in their first year, mm -hmm. uh, but then obtains a higher GPA in the following semesters? And I think this mm -hmm. refers to their undergraduate education, not necessarily to right. postgrad post okay. work. Um, will that application simply be tossed out? And I guess the extension of that question then is, would this student need to go to a post -bac program mm -hmm. to improve their, their grades? So, um, so this would fit into the category of someone that is an academic enhancer. Mm -hmm. You know, an academic enhancer, uh, you know, not to disparage uh, ability or um, capability, but sometimes individuals, when they start college, they have a slow start. It mm -hmm. could be for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, just adjusting to be away from home. And so for the, that type of individual, who is trying to get into medical school, but maybe their GPA, mm -hmm. when you reach your junior year, the end of your junior year, which is typically when you apply to medical school, your GPA doesn't, your science GPA doesn't look uh, like it should. Mm -hmm. And so with that in mind, that is uh, definitely someone who should consider a post-bac program where they are able to take additional science courses in, I think, a very condensed period of time, uh, more a proponent of the one year mm. of, um, course of study for that type of individual so that they can really demonstrate they, they have the ability to sustain a high level of academic achievement mm -hmm. in a rigorous, rigorous course mm -hmm. load over um, um, a one year time period so that the admissions officers in medical schools will look at that and say, well, okay, we'll throw out that first year maybe mm -hmm. or look at that a little mm -hmm. differently because it's quite obvious that once this individual either uh, found themselves in study skills or the personal event that mm -hmm. they were, um, you know, encountering was resolved, they certainly are capable of performing. And Owen, if I may, mm -hmm. I, you know, I just add if it was if it's one single course, you know, really programs are looking at an entire GPA, and so if this is one course that the student struggles with, as long as they've they've learned from that course and as they take their other science coursework, they're on the up and up. You know, there's they, they shouldn't delay admission mm -hmm. uh, just because of that one course. So I think it really depends where the student is and. That was going to be my follow-up question, because I know mm -hmm. from the conversations I've had with many mm -hmm. uh, medical school deans and admissions officers, and even something someone said back in our May episode, the mm -hmm. Med School Insider episode of The Pulse, uh, that really medical schools tend to look at trends. And so if it's mm -hmm. a single right. class very early on that's then followed by a lot of, of stronger classes mm -hmm. and a stronger GPA, that, that tends to be forgiven a bit more. So, Absolutely. Interesting. So, so I'm curious, just sort of summing up the conversation, Grace, I, I'm curious what you have to say here. What do you think the tipping point there is uh, between you're okay and you should go ahead and apply if you've just got one or two bad grades versus maybe your GPA isn't as strong as you'd like and you really should consider a post back program? So truthfully, you know, Owen, um, what Megan just described, that's absolutely true. If this individual is referring to an encounter that happened over maybe one semester, and it was early on, or even not, you know, again, I'm going to use the uh, analogy as you get sick or, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, have something uh, occur in your personal life. One semester can always be explained away as long as there isn't a trend that shows here and there, uh, you know, uh, a bad grade here, a bad grade there this semester. If it's one semester, it can always be explained away by your pre-med advisor in your letter of recommendation. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I think that will yeah. reassure many of the students right, that are, that are right. out there. 